What's up my little chodes? Today, I'm gonna be giving you an overview of my fictional railroads layout. And as you can see here, I have a train lined up and we're gonna be following it throughout the what's done, what's the finished part of the layout. Obviously it's not, I'm talking about track work because the, um, the scenery is not yet even started. Um, but, uh, you know, all of these are based off of real life locations. These real life locations don't have any trackage. It's all theoretical, but uh, they are real places. Um, and we're starting our tour here in Polson with the Montana Rail Link Interchange. And this is an actual town. I have it labeled. Um, this is where the railroad will interchange with Montana Rail Link on a day to day basis. Um, and this is, I'm going to include some Google Earth screenshots as we go through the area. But uh, yes, this is Polson. And we're going to be starting up our train. And we're going to be running through the entire, well, what's finished. So, here we go. Um, for power today, we got... Um, 3431, 3432, and this foreign engine, um, 7354, that is Quebec Northern, I believe, or Quebec National, I don't remember. But we're just running a, uh, mixed freight, so. Track speed on the layout is always gonna be max 35, because it's a short line, and 35 is... It looks fine on like the tighter curves and I'll stop the train when we get to the really interesting locations. I'll also do some uh, flybys with it. So, um, in real life at the end of the yard here just about there's gonna be a crossing because the it would cross over the road the two yard leads. Um, and there's probably also a crossing near here as well, so, here, let's get down on the ground. Yeah, for some reason when you're in miniature mode, the sound will cut out for n no apparent reason. It's really annoying and very stupid, but this game has like plenty of issues, so. Which, whatever. This part of the railroad's probably gonna look very nice once the scenery's all done. But, um. Over here, we're just um, in the scenic area between Bear Dance and Big or uh, Pulson. So there's a gradient because there's a small hill between here and there. So there's the end of our train. Not a huge train. This railroad can't really run huge trains. I tried to accommodate for like large stuff, but you know the yard lead is only so big. It's going to be single track, I think, all the way through, too. But it's all... I get to do whatever I want, track work-wise. So. So, a little story about 7354 is... I was working on making some Utah Belt SD-70s, and I found it inside the file. So, I just did up a... Um, I just weathered it a little bit, gave it a number, and now it's on the railroad, so. It's not officially a part of the railroad's roster, because it is a different railroad entirely. It's just foreign power. So yeah, normally I'd knock the speed down climbing the hill, but, um, ooh, froze for a second. Normally I'd knock the speed down coming up the hill, but want to make this tours nice and quick so 
we're nearing our first industry on the layout the bear dance elevator so I'll stop the train and uh, explain it a little bit and make sure the switches are lined up this is our first industry the bear dance elevator and bear dance is a real place I'll give I'll, like once again I'll put a screenshot on screen um, we got 5220 and 5601 here and they're just working the elevator um, the operations around this is that um, these engines will mostly run light between Big Fork Yard and um, the Montana Rail Link interchange because the Montana Rail Link is the railroad they're running the grain trains up here and they can they use whatever engines available sometimes it's um, BFR power sometimes it's Montana rail link power sometimes it's BNSF power and I think it'll probably more likely be BNSF power too because apparently in real life Montana rail link is no longer independent it is owned by BNSF so rip Montana rail link um, basically the track arrangement goes as follows here's the storage track which was supposed to be the main line but due to the way it, it shaped I just thought that if this was the main line you'd have to cut down speed through here so I made the main line the uh, more straightforward track and then you have the actual loading tracks here it's gonna have a shed that you know goes about mm, two or three um, car lengths and it's gonna have a big elevator here um, and basically you take the train in here and then you take a cut of cars fit for each track and you shove them in and it'll load it the only operational issue is that it will block the main line for a couple minutes uh, in real life it would block the main line for hours but in, in game it's just a couple minutes so that's the first industry get back up to speed here and after uh, this we have a very steep decline I think it's three percent um, I don't if anyone's really attentive you could probably you probably heard that I changed the horns on these um, it's not the same horn as the um, C40 8 M's but it is more realistic for Hey, I'm trying to check the horn. The horn is still a three chime, but it's more realistic for CN and W. Um, because CN and W, that's what these engines, um, that's the railroad those came from. That they had K5Hs, so that is a K5H horn. Now this is just um, a very steep descent through the hill. Hills, but um, right now we're in like the foothills of the Cascades. So, it's very nice and scenic. I can't. I, I'm very excited to put trees and scenery in and whatnot. But yeah, it snakes down the hill. It looks very nice even without scenery. But we're nearing our second industry. So, I ha I don't think I have a name for this industry yet because I don't even. I'm not even sure what it's gonna be. Um, it's either going to be A, a limestone mine, or B, a gravel pit, um, but we will see. I think this is the tightest turn on the layout. Constrained for space because we want to make everything nice and dense. But here's, I'll show you as the train's going by. Here is, n once again, not a name for it, but this is going to be um, some kind of gravel pit or limestone mine. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a gravel pit, um, but you take hoppers in here, this is the yard track, and then this is where uh, you will load them, the, uh, the, I don't know, elevator drop or whatever they call them, loading um, thing, drop loader, whatever, um, that's where that's going to be, and you're just going to have, you have the empties pulled out and then shoved back in through each track and it's got one runaround 
and then two tracks. You can fit pretty sizable um, ballast trains through there. But uh, this is the second industry. As you can see, it's empty right now. And in when everything's done up and operations are actually running, it'll probably also remain empty for long periods of time because, you know, gravel is not a consistent commodity in real life, so it probably won't be here. But, um, yeah, up here, this is another pretty steep grade, and I think it is only th also 3%, so I think the steepest thing I want for this railroad would be 3%, because anything more than 3% is intense, especially for a short line. I mean, this isn't even a long freight train. We have three locomotives on it. But yeah, you can see um, how steep it is down here. Because it just starts going up. Yeah. But it climbs for a while. I'm trying not to spoil the rest of the railroad on accident. It climbs for a while until it reaches the third industry. So, over here. This is the third industry. This is um, food packing. And it's like canned foods and whatnot. Um, in my head, when making this track arrangement, I thought, um, you know, maybe it'd be cool to have a challenge. I tried switching it, and it is not easy to switch. It took me like an hour. But I know how to do it now, which is what counts. So, let the train fly by here. You have a, you do have a industry lead, so. And we are actually in the town of Big Fork now. This is the namesake for the railroad, or at least one of the namesakes. Um, the Flathead River is nearby too. I'll show a screenshot of both. But um, yeah. I think I already accidentally spoiled it, but over there is Big Fork Yard. Which is a, like a couple miles outside of the town, so... These engines do look very nice when they're pulling a train, I have to admit. So, right here is what theoretically is going to be Flathead River, which is a pretty big river, um, all things considering. Um, and it's just going to be outside of the main yard, and as the train's running, I'll explain everything you see here. And I'll have to stop the train too, because this is where everything ends, so I don't want to run it off the end of the railroad. But, let's stop it uh, when it enters yard territory. Um, right here, actually I'll stop it right now because it's going to interrupt me, isn't it? Right here are fueling and storage tracks. This engine set right here with um, the SD40s, this is the fueling track right here. And this is the storage track. Which, also, you know, they're double-sided fuel lines, so you could fuel here too. But for the time being, it's the storage track, and you can see you got um, 3441, 3442, um, and 3429 right here, and also 5434, uh, or 5534, my bad. Oh, you know what? I just noticed a problem with one of my liveries that's been finished for like a month. This is uh, the original numbers. Oops. Oh well. But this is, yeah, 5535 uh, is here. You got the two foreign engines, um, Buffalo and West Shore here. But, yeah, that's the storage track. This is the fuel line. This is the, uh, dead, this is a deadline. Um, there could be more than one. This is being used as a deadline right now. Um, not that, not that those engines aren't going to be used. Because I know people are really weird about that. But, um, in here, these are the main engine shops, and as you can see, they're kind of full right now. Um, 
You got 50, uh, 5,600 here. All the way in the back. Um, got some of the... This is just an oddball engine set. 50, uh, 221s here. You have a... This is an actual track for, um, locomotives going out on trains. You got a full set of cowls here, which is pretty nice. Um, this is, uh... 3443 sitting here with the other dash eights in the line and that's basically the rest of the railroad also you got a like yard power here but uh yeah i haven't gotten anywhere past big fork yet because working on this has been very off and on but uh this is where everything gets organized and whatnot this is uh where everything happens this is the whole shebang but I tried to m make the track enough so that um, it was convenient to run on. So, like, everything here is separate from the actual yard. And if you need to do any moving around, there's this track here that connects up with the yard lead. So you won't get in the way of the switching job right here as long as you're doing it efficiently. And... You know, that's actually it. So there's not much else here. Yeah, so... I'll see you guys around.